Welcome back guys, you join me as we've just finished pretty much our weekend of foot champs with this incredible team, if it wants to load, there it is. We'll be walking through this later, but we've got one more game to give away, so we're going to do that with this team, and then we'll get into our rewards. You know what, it's a cool side and it's not that good. Let's just give him this win. Just, here we go, we'll just go for the slide tackle method, just pretty much get all of our team on the floor, out of the way of him, so we can go through and score. Might even try and move the keeper, not exactly working. There you go, easy goal, and we are gone into our rewards. So we ended up getting rank six, I think that is, but this does mean we get a premium team of the week pack as well. That's the biggest thing I wanted out of this weekend. Two picks, 50k, 100k, premium team of the week. That's what you want to see. And also, cheeky on the right, 25,000 coins. We love that. We're a little bit low with this new team now. All right, here we go. Big team of the week. Really, we want a Cancelo could go in the team. Also, a Tamori would also perfectly replace a Bremer. So we'll see what we can actually get. Last week's weren't that good. So this week can't be much worse. All right, into the first one. We've got four picks, a Correa and a Martinelli. A Correa and a Martinelli. Four star, four star. I have played against him this weekend and he is actually quite decent. Martinelli's... Four star, three star, okay. And we do have a Vinny who he's not really going to replace, is he? To be honest, neither of these are probably going to replace anyone in the squad. But as a super sub, I'd say Correa is probably going to be a beast. He's, and he's got outside of the foot shot, technical dribbler. Yeah, he looks very, very good. And he's probably quick enough still to be a super sub. We're going to take him. He's worth about 35,000 coins. So he's the highest value anyway. Flick, flick, flick. Second one. Bit better look maybe for a big card. Or a bit worse. This isn't a hard choice, is it? Modest or Hosselu, neither of them are going to get game time, so we're just going to hit Hosselu. Not awful, but not great. So we're going to do this in the order of 50, 100, and then premium. Yeah, save that one till last. Hopefully it's a big player. Starting off with the 50, it's at least a board. you love to see that. Belgium, striker, Lukaku. We take a walkout. We take a tradable walkout, you know. Not going to be worth much, but we'll keep him for fodder. Any cheeky dangers like a Dembele? No. Or Rashford. A Rashford's in there, to be fair. Um... What's he worth nowadays? Nothing. He has dropped massively from like 30k. Adama? Again, he used to be about 8k. Worth not a lot now, but we'll get rid of him anyway. Alright, 100k packs. The last one of these we opened was an untradeable one, and we got Vinny. Wouldn't mind to repeat that. Double Vinny. It is a board. Uh, could a Barley maybe centre back? Oh. Or Joel Matip. Or a Joel Matip. Not quite the same effect, is it? And, and a dangler in form. We'll get rid of him. Just quick sell him. Um, but apart from that, Malassi has dropped massively in price as well. All these low rated players have dropped. All right, the last one. We haven't opened one of these in FIFA 23 yet. I don't think I opened any in FIFA 22 either. But let's see who we can get. It's at least a walkout in form. English. Make it Tomori. Oh, it's Cam. It's Cam. We saw centre back there. We were in the money and probably had a new starter in the team. A Mason Mount, though. It's still good C86, and he could be dangling behind him tomorrow, he could. Or the pair of 89s. Yeah. Mason Mount is not worth a lot, so I think we'll probably hang on to him. These two, yeah, look, they're going to be discarding forms, aren't they? Same for Gonzalez. Yeah. Get rid of both of them. Keep Mason Mount in the club. And uh, happy days. We might use him for an SBC in the future. And that's going to be it for the opening part of this, guys. And we're now going to look at the best goals of the weekend. There aren't many, but there's a few cool ones. So in this one, Vinny actually wins a corner and the big man at camp, Havertz, has been an absolute beast. Look what he does. Keeper comes all the way up. Havertz is just like, I'll catch you out then, mate. You want to come all the way out and be adventurous? Just pop it in next to you, mate. Easy as you like. Then this was just great to see. The man's got a penalty that was, first of all, a bit dubious. He puts CR7 on it. You think he can't miss, can you? But my man steps up to the plate, even keeps the ball in from it. And it's just going to lead to something special, isn't it? We're pumped up now on the counter-attack. Look at that. He's got about four players too far up the pitch, out of position. So Genio Desh just charging through the middle. He finds Vinny, who also then passes it on to Benzema. And he's just got incredible finishing, hasn't he? Can't quite finish it there. Gets a second bite of the cherry. And the header is what you love to see. Great counter-attack in football. And if you're interested, guys, this is the team that we use for the weekend league. We've got Bremer being a big player in the team. He's actually super cheap now. Well, somewhat super cheap compared to how much he was because Juve are not doing very well in the Champions League. 77,000 coins for him. He gets the Serie A links and also gets Vinny on full chem with a Brazilian link as well. Havertz was our cam and easiest standout player. Look at that. 39 games and 38 goal involvements as a cam. He is an absolute beast. And as you can see from the corners, his aerial presence is just brilliant. 
We put an N'Golo Kante in for as a carrier, as a CDM, he's just all over the place, isn't he? He doesn't get many goal involvements, but he is an absolute beast, hence the price tag. And the last new addition to the team was this Valverde, who we move into a right centre mid position, and he's just a beast, isn't he? I thought about doing his player of the month, but when I can afford to buy him with 140k liquid coins, it means I can then sell him and recoup some of the coins later on in the game. And overall, after making those changes in the team, this team did perform very, very well. And that's why we've had our best finish yet in our second weekend. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Over this side will be another video you might like to watch, and over this side is a playlist of similar videos to this one. Otherwise, guys, please press this to subscribe. Thank you for your support, and I'll see you in the next one.